So I guess I never gave an update on the truck here. Um, she's totaled, but it actually worked out all right. I'll tell you why. So like I said in my last video, I got the bumper fixed on my own. I just took care of that before I was dicking around with the insurance, screwing around. That cost about a thousand bucks. And I guess I did have the one uh, turn signal and this headlight was broke, I think by the shop. So I got those done too. And this is the only damage left, which is pretty much nothing. And it annoys me to look at that damage, but I got 7,000 bucks in my pocket out of this deal. So I fought with my insurance for a while. Uh, they were telling me the truck was worth 5,800. I knew that was BS. Um, I fought them on that, sent them a bunch of comps. They rejected all the comps because one was like a single cab instead of an extended cab. And another one was long box instead of short box. So they wouldn't take any of my comps. And a buddy of mine, Boner, he is Boner Crusher SS on his YouTube. He sent me a link to Collision Safety Consultants. And I contacted them. They said, yeah, they thought they had a case. Uh, they did some homework, valued it at like 14 grand and uh, ended up settling with the insurance for 11. So after my deductible and the buyback from the insurance, yada, yada, I ended up getting a check for like 7,800 or something like that. And um, the, the title is not a salvage title, but like a Carfax will show that it was totaled. But I put seven grand in my pocket after fixing it. So, uh, you know, any diminished value, I think I'm still coming out ahead on that. And while I was waiting for all the BS to shake out, I put some new brakes on it that it needed. I'm going to throw some new shocks on. I'm still going to throw a clutch in it at some point because I think I bent something uh, in the slave itself back when I was trying to do burnouts that first time and modified that line. I'll put a link in here to how to eliminate the clutch line restriction so you can do good burnouts. And uh, I still got to rewire these so that the DRLs, well actually this turn signal comes on solid with the top DRL, so this is amber, and then tint this thing amber. Um, <clears throat> I want to do that when I get some time. But, uh, plan on keeping this thing basically forever, so I'm going to keep working on it. I do plan on putting those Chevy Express mirrors on here at some point, whenever I get some time. And I've got a tailgate project, too, that I think will look pretty cool. If I can find a deal somewhere on a clean 6.0 crew cab, I may go that route. And what I would do is swap the 8.1 on the ZF6 and the crew cab, and then take this truck, throw a 6.0 and probably auto, because that's about all they come with. Then sell that thing and have myself an 8.1 crew cab with the ZF. Because the kiddo's getting bigger, and even with this front seat all the way up, there ain't a whole lot of room. Plus, i got to fit these guys. Or I've wondered, too, about the possibility of taking a crew cab and putting it on this frame. And then putting one of those 5 foot 8 inch beds from like a half ton crew cab on here i'm sure there'd be you know the frame kicks up here so i'm sure there'd be some clearance and i'd have to do on the crew cab but that way this thing would still fit in my garage because one of the reasons i didn't buy a crew cab to start with is because with my workbench and the garage door this thing barely fits in there and be able to close the garage door and as much as i work on stuff it's kind of a deal breaker if i can't uh, close the garage door